Awesome. Well, welcome guys. I appreciate everyone for having us come in and be able to deliver some value for you. I'm Justin Dothmoss, my business partner, John True. Uh, we own Authority Advertising. Uh, what we do is pretty much drive new customers to local businesses. So we're going to kind of go over some social media stuff here. This is stuff that we utilize every day in our business, how we generate leads, the different things that we use, platform systems, new technology, things like that to kind of automate stuff and grow our business. So before we actually jump into this, there's some things that I feel that are very important when we're working with people because no matter what business you're in, you're always dealing with another human being. So it's all about making that connection with somebody. If we can't make a connection with someone, we're never going to make a deal or sell something. So to me, the three key factors is getting someone to know, like, and trust you. In order to build that know, like, and trust, there's some things we have to do in place before that. So again, if we don't have that know, like, trust, that's a big percentage of someone's buying process. So we're going to go over four personality calls. Anybody heard of the four personality calls? No? All right, so this is a good way to kind of find someone's personality, talk to them in their language. So it's yellow, green, red, and blue. So each one of these colors represents a personality. So again, if we talk to someone in their color, we're going to be able to communicate with them a lot better. So we're going to go over first yellow. So yellow is more of the lover type, the caring person, the one who will take their shirt off their back and do anything for you. We all know someone who's yellow. That's kind of like my mother. She'll do anything for anybody. So again, this person makes their decisions based on feelings and emotions. Next is green. They're the person who has to have lots of data, information, facts. They ask lots of questions. Okay, so we all know someone who's green and they based their information, I mean, their uh, decisions based on data. Next is blue. So this person's outgoing. We all know someone not like this. They're energetic, adventurous. They love meeting new people, very social. So this person makes their decisions based on exciting opportunities. <clears throat> and last, we have red. This is more like my father. You know, they're demanding, they're competitive. You know, they make a lot of choices based on profits and personal gains. So again, they're more on personal gains when they're making the decisions. So transitioning this into your industry, it doesn't matter what industry you put this in, there's a way of communicating with someone, whether it's your children, a spouse, a family member, a coworker, it doesn't matter. When you speak to someone on that level, you're always going to be able to build a faster relationship. So let's just say that you're a red personality and you're selling a house to a yellow personality. You know, this person might be interested in how much they're going to make off of the house in five years. They don't care about all of the fun family gatherings that you might have. So it's a way that we talk to them that really matters. So it's just like if you're selling a house to a blue person and a blue personality speaking to them that language it's going to go a lot better. Maybe they're like, Hey, you know, you're going to have some great family meetings. You're going to, I mean, uh, events, you're going to have some pool parties, cookouts. That person's going to resonate with that a lot more. So again, you have to speak to people on their level. How many people are actively using Facebook every single day? You guys do any live videos? No, You're afraid to get on camera. Who's yeah, afraid to get on camera? With me in the, in the <laughs> it takes a little bit to get used to that. You know, I remember when I first went to go do a live. It took me a couple months just to hit that live button. But then you feel like you're gonna puke. You start sweating. Yeah. So it's just getting past that point. One tip that if you guys do a live, it's called a duo with someone else. If you do it with a friend, yeah. it's more like you're just having a conversation with someone. It takes the pressure off of you of like 50 million people staring at you, waiting for you to mess up. Yeah. So try doing a live with a friend if you can. But live videos are absolutely king in the social media world. Yeah, I used to actually do my live videos with sunglasses. So I'd walk outside, I'd go into the landscape mode, jump on a live, and actually it helps. Because when you don't see people jumping on and hopping on, paying attention to you, you don't actually pay attention to it and you can focus on your content. Yeah. So that makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And they don't see the rankings. Exactly. <laughs> 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 That's my tip of the day, guys. <laughs> so we're going to kind of go over the difference because a lot of people ask, you know, what should I be on? I, I do real estate. Should I be on Facebook? Should I be on LinkedIn, Instagram, Snapchat? Should I be on all of them? It's up to you what you want to do. 
my suggestion from experience right. and our experience, being on every platform, you spread yourself thin. Then you got to come up with content for each platform. Then you got to post and copy everything. Yeah. It gets to be overwhelming. Don't overwhelm yourself because then it gets to be another job and it's not fun. All right. So to me and all the data we've gotten back from everything we've done, Facebook is more for everyone. You're going to find more of your target audience on Facebook. It's anywhere from 18 to 65, every background, nationality, job, industry, everything. It's a melting pot. You know, everybody's there. So that's where you can generate the most leads for your business and grow your real estate business fastest is on Facebook. Instagram is more the younger generation. Millennials take a picture of the shoes, the food, the clothes, cars, you know what I mean? So it's more about just getting more people to follow you. Um, you can grow it on Instagram, but again, I see people have way better results when they're on Facebook. LinkedIn is more of the business professional, suit, suit and tie, CEO, you know, bigger corporations, you can do real estate on there as well. But again, your best results are Facebook from our experience right. and try not to spread yourself thin. When people focus on one platform, you can grow very fast because you're putting all that energy and focus onto one thing. Hire a VA, $5 an hour from the Philippines to post on your other social media sites. We're going to be hiring one. Yep. Very reliable. They show up on time. It's not like the U.S. where it's $25 to $50 an hour for a VA. They're going to make sure they get that done. So there are other ways that we can continuously, you know, if we want to be on other platforms, to get that out without killing ourselves right. doing that in the process. Right now, the past three, four years, it's just been growing. But 90% 90, 90 of businesses are on, I say social media, but we mean Facebook. Right. And they use that for marketing purposes. So that's millions of business owners depending on Facebook to grow their business in this digital age, yeah. but they're doing it and use, utilizing it the wrong way. So 2.2 billion monthly active users just on Facebook alone. So I love it when people say, well, my clientele or my customers aren't on Facebook. They're there. You just haven't tapped into that audience. 1.2 billion of them are using Messenger. I don't know about you. Every time we do an event, I say, if someone calls me, emails me, or texts me on my phone, it takes me a while to get back. You hit me up a messenger, I, I reply instantly. It's the same with a lot of people. So you can build rapport and close deals directly in messenger without even having to text them or email them and get in there. So Do you all know what messenger is? Have you used it? Okay. Why is it that you... Get back to people on Messenger. Well, it's because not when, you get a, when you get an email, you have to actually go to your email at yeah, Gmail. Emails. But yeah. when you get a message on Messenger, it shows up on your phone, so you're more opt to click it versus going to an email. More people yeah. nowadays are answering Messenger yeah. over all the other. I don't, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Probably because they're already on Facebook. You get the right. notification. Right. You know, so. Well, you have to blow but them you get away. Because yeah. yeah. they're in your way. So yeah. the, 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 comes the, the uh, bubble thing exactly. comes up yeah, in, yeah. in yeah. your screen. So if you're yeah. trying to do something else, it's. I don't, I don't click on the message unless I'm ready to answer it. Because if I'm busy yeah. and they see the bubble drop, people go, why didn't he answer me? How come he hasn't got back to me? That's, <laughs> people just do that and then we're like, oh, maybe he doesn't want to answer me. You yeah. know, we, we kind of do those things to ourselves. So. Uh, I, I just kind of wait. It's the, the wave of yeah. Um, communication. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we become <clears throat> a society that is very tech savvy. Yeah. And so you're going from, you know, back in the day when we were like, woof, um, um, email, this is amazing. <laughs> you know, I can, I can message somebody and they used to say private things in email. Right. Then you go from there to, um, to now we have text. Right. And now people are sending text to each other. Um, but now we, we realize that companies are sending us text messages and we're like, ugh, like, I don't want to know. I, I, like, yeah. stop sending me these things via text. Mm -hmm. And so people still feel that they have some control over a messenger because you have to be friends right. mm -hmm. in order to, I mean, you could send somebody a message that's not your friend, but it doesn't go anywhere if you don't end up replying. Yeah. Or, you know, friending them. So I think it's just a wave of technology and the way we're going. Um, you know, when it comes to Instagram, I think Instagram's important, but you, you have the 22 year olds, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna end up purchasing. Um, um, so it's nice to, to touch them, but most of the people that are buying houses now, 
If they're on LinkedIn, if they're professional, they also have Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And people, when they do their research, the first thing they do, just like you would buy something on Google, if I want to buy this phone, I look at the stars and the reviews. They're doing the same thing on Facebook. As soon as I get a business card, what do you think I do? I look at your profile, I want to see what you're about, I want to see what you're selling, what kind of business you're in, what kind of relationship you have with your family. That's how they're establishing that rapport with us. Yeah, Facebook's yeah. going to give you way more information than Google ever will. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It, if you know the amount of data, like we do Facebook ads, so we understand to the extent of what you can do and how you can target people and what they know about us. It's scary from a regular standpoint, from marketing and advertising, it's pure gold because you can highly target the people you want. I'm sure that Milestone might have some billboards, TV ads, radio ads. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so, but the money that you guys spend on that is thousands of dollars, and it's a spray and pray. Hopefully something sticks. Someone driving by might see it. Hopefully they call it. It's good brand awareness. You always want brand awareness, or else no one knows you're there. But when it comes to trying to generate leads in new customers and clients, running ads right now, at least, Facebook is the way to go. So we'll kind of touch a little bit into there. So again, you know, 1. billion monthly active users in Messenger, that's pretty huge too. So that shows you how many people are on Facebook and in Messenger. So it's very powerful when you start to utilize these things. So, you know, why would it be important for you to kind of build in the digital age? Well, without building an online presence, nobody knows that you have a business. So it's that repetitive of putting our stuff out there, getting our stuff out there, being in someone's time feed, them seeing us a lot is what keeps us in their mind. So when their referral comes up, if someone they know, they're going to pass it to you. So again, by doing the online presence, it's going to increase your brand awareness. If John and I didn't... Uh, sorry, it's over. You missed everything. <laughs> so yeah again if we haven't built our brand awareness people would never know what we do they would never come to us for referral so again utilizing social media in this age is very very important um, you can grow a network amazingly fast compared to how we're used to doing it we're used to doing offline referrals someone refers you it's warm it's good, everybody loves warm referrals, but that's one to one. Social media, one to many, one to a group of people, one to hundreds of people. So it's very important to get that. When you start doing all these things, you will start noticing you're generating more leads just off social media organically without spending any money. But it's the point of just keeping up with it every day, being consistent. You don't have to post 50 times a day like some people do. It's just staying consistent in people's time feeds. <clears throat> this is also going to give you information on your audience. The people who follow us, we know what they like, what they want to hear, what they want for value. We pay attention to these things because when you give people that, they're going to want to know what you do, what you have, and they're going to want to work with you. So again, each one of these things definitely builds all that up. And the best part is the more videos you do, posts you put out, you're going to build yourself up as that professional, as the expert in that field. So they're not going to want to go to someone else. They're going to want to call you when that time comes. And again, all that, it, it generates us needs just by doing those am things. Am I jumping ahead if I, if I say you're, um, if you do videos, you'll, because YouTube is owned by Google, so you'll be, high, you'll have a higher ESO. SEO. SEO, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, if, you, if you're putting your stuff on YouTube too, like we, again, there's people who focus just on YouTube and do absolutely awesome. Any business, any industry, it doesn't matter. But again, we focus on Facebook and then we'll put some stuff out sometimes on Instagram and, and some videos onto YouTube just to kind of have that, you know, um, appearance. So, does anybody have a, uh, their profile set up to where you have, you know, any of your business links, I'm sure you guys have a link for a landing page or something for your business. So you can actually hook all this up to your business page. Again, we talked about Google. People, they search you, they're gonna go to your Facebook business page. They're gonna look you up, they're gonna scroll through your time feed, your photos, they're gonna wanna know who you are. The awesome thing about all that is they're building rapport with you, and what are you doing? Nothing, just besides putting content on your page. 
So again, we've had people reach out after a month, six months, a year, and say, hey, I'm ready to work with you guys. I love all your videos. I'm talking about stuff. I didn't even know they watched, mm -hmm. but they followed the content. They followed your stuff. So we have, I have a very clear photo, so does John. That's very important. There's plenty of people with your name. My name is Justin Doffenbaugh. Not many people have that name. It's one of the person in the U.S., so uh, when it comes to just, you know, your name, you want to have a clear photo. Most real estate agents have good headshots. So just make sure you're using that for your cover photo. So when people go to look you up, that you pop up right away, they can see you nice and clearly. This is the biz business page, right? This is a Facebook profile. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just your generic profile. That's right. not your yeah. business page. Because okay. a lot of people don't go through and set a lot of the stuff up. Okay. Like a lot of people don't know that. You know, um, in here I have a quick intro. Some people right underneath here in this intro, they will put uh, the link to their business. That's not really clickable. People would have to copy and paste it. That adds extra steps. Any extra steps, any resistance is gonna stop someone from going through with something. So in here, I just put a little bit of information about me and what I offer. So when someone comes to my page, they can probably find out what I do, what service I offer within a couple minutes. We're going to give you copies of this. Yeah, yeah but I like that page. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to seal it. <laughs> Underneath the intro, and Facebook keeps changing this, so I keep updating it, and then the right. week later they changed it. So I'm trying to keep up to date, so things might be in a little different spot, but this is like the last update they did. So right in here is where I have my business page connected. I have... Um, Let's see, our, our calendar, our calendar, our other social links. So everything is right there. If someone comes to our business page, they can set an appointment with me. They can go to our website. Anything that they need to do is right there. Underneath that is the featured photo. So when you're on your page, you have nine featured photos, and then you have photos underneath that. The ones up here are the ones that you can upload and keep there for anything. So I put stuff where it shows my family, to show I'm a family man. It shows some results from our business. I have our page and our group linked right there as well so they can get to it from here or down there. And then I have some other pictures of us doing like trainings and things like that. So again, it, it just gives a lot of information about me. It lets someone feel a lot more comfortable when they go there and they can find out stuff about you. Some people don't like putting their information out on the internet. I'm sorry, but it's they already have all that stuff. Yeah, whether you like or not. It's Any app you yeah. download, anything you do, yeah. your information is out there. So is this there. your personal page or your business this page? Is, this is my personal page. I'm going to kind of go over the business page too because a lot of people don't know things you can do with that. I didn't get to add it in, but Facebook just made some changes. On your business page, we have a little about section, and you can put a background photo. When you click into it, I made it almost like a little landing page. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But it walks them through, and at the bottom... I have all of our links for our social stuff, our business, but then also I offer a free PDF. So if people come there, they're going to get some free value from us. Yep. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. And again, it's never just one thing in business. So you guys know that. It's, it's, it's collectively everything that you do that really starts to make things work. So the background cover photo, Facebook again made some changes. Now if you upload it from your phone or on desktop, it does kind of configure to the mm -hmm. size before it would cut out the background. So um, Canva is a good thing to use. I don't know if you guys use Canva when you're kind of making these background cover photos. Just to size them, Canva actually gives you the proper sizes you need for this stuff, any of these photos. So we do add that in at the end in case you're kind of wondering about that. And down here is just social proof. Again, I spend a lot of time engaging with my friends list. I spend more time engaging with my friends list than I do posting. Right. That's going to that, that's be more beneficial to you because people think, I need to get my business out. I need to promote my, my real estate business. Here, here's another home. Here's another home. Here's another home. That just pushes people away. Spend more time on other people and then just make a post and more people are going to pay attention to your post. Pass it off more. Share. Refer. It's... It, it's just crazy. In the normal world, you always think yourself. You need to get your business, but when you flip it, it works a lot better for you. Trust me. You get a better organic reach that way also because you're basically telling the algorithm that you're delivering value, but you're also showing the relevance to the audience. So if you get a lot more engagement, now that you're showing more relevance to Facebook, so Facebook will start sharing your stuff more to people's time feed. So this way you don't have to spend as much time engaging with your own stuff. You're just basically giving value and people organically are looking for your stuff. Yep. There is an algorithm right. with Facebook, Google. It's an IA system, and it knows what you do when you do it. 
Facebook loves it when you're engaging in your social, that's what it's for. So the more that you do that, the more they credit it for. If you're someone who posts 50 times a day and you never like on anybody's stuff, when you post, no one's going to see your posts. If you get up in the morning, and I'm not saying spend your whole day, you're busy, you're a business owner. Just spend some time engaging and liking and commenting on other people's posts. Later in the day when you make a post, you're going to be seen by so many more people. You're going to be at the top of the time feeds. So on your actual page, this is kind of where I'm showing you where you can actually put your social links. Uh, if you go to your about on your actual page and then right down here to connection, uh, sorry, contact and basic info, that's where you can put in your social links, your website, a calendar. I don't know if you guys use a calendar. We use Calendly, L-Y, and uh, it's a free scheduler. People can go on there, set an appointment. You can actually ask them pre-qualifying questions. We had one set up for someone we were working with. Uh, they wanted to know, you know, what price range they were in, you know, when they're looking to move, all of these questions, and then you have to leave name, email, phone number, that goes to you and puts it into your Google Calendar and it automatically puts it in there for you. So it schedules it for you and you have information to know, is this something I need to get to right now? Are they looking right now? Is this a warm lead that I have to get back to? So adding your calendar to your uh, actual profile is, is very good as well. So who has a business page? So a couple people do, have a right? business page. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's your personal business page. It's not, you know, like milestone realities. Yeah. All right. So again, we're going to kind of touch on. What's going on guys? Welcome to the show. <laughs> All right. So a lot of people tend to kind of get this wrong when they're setting up a business page. If you have a page that kind of looks like this, it's not an actual page. What happens is, is you go in through your profile and you type in a page and you think that's the way it's creating it. All it does is create this kind of landing page. You can't do nothing else with this. You can't add content. You can't do nothing. So we end up, we do go over how to create that business page. So if you went to, you know, your regular profile and went to pages underneath create, that is where you're going to be able to go and create a business page. And I know a couple of you already have that set up. So on your business page, again, you want to use either your logo for that profile picture or a clear photo of you, clear background photo. Right in here, uh, where you see the authority, that is where I was talking about where we set up almost like a small landing page. If you go there, it has some information about John and I, about our business. It has some pictures of results that we've gotten for people. It has a couple quotes in there. You can hyperlink stuff, you can put in HTML codes. So there's lots of things that you can do within that little box there. So this is really, really small. And then right in here in the about, again, we have all of our information, our email, phone number, business links. And we, I, I put most of our videos through my profile. Right. That's where more of our audience is. Mm -hmm. Business pages on Facebook don't always get lots of engagement. Yeah. You can have a successful business and have no one on your personal, I mean, on your business page. So we tend to post on our profile and then post it on to here. If you're selling something though, it's always best to post it on your business page and then share it to your personal profile because if Facebook catches on to that, they can ban your page on your profile. Yeah, so we've had some people who are, are very successful who have their pages completely Discards all that content, all those years of building that brand is all the audience, gone. everything. Yeah. yeah. So the reason why we do lots of videos again is because people can come to our page and 24 seven, our content is building rapport with people all the time, whether it's a post we make, whether it's a video we put out, it doesn't matter. It's just always working for us. So we're going to kind of touch on email versus messenger. I'm sure everyone here is using email a lot. Does anybody use autoresponders like MailChimp, Active Campaign, Drip, or any of those? Like Constant Contact, right? Like so when you guys send out emails, it's someone doing it every single time. There's no automation. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. We might be able to help out that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you have uh, maybe like a newsletter or something that goes out to people that you come in contact with, you're out networking, you, you're trying to talk to someone about a home they're buying or selling. You put them into your email list. There, there should be emails that are going out 
you know, it's every like a CRM. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like a CRM. If you, have a, if you have a CRM, then you're probably, if you set it up, they're probably getting, you don't have to manually send everybody an email. They'll, everybody on your list will get all your yeah. contacts. Yeah, you can send them so day one or, you know, three, four days later, a week later, it sends out another one. You set all this up once. Once you do that, every time someone comes into your mail list, it just automatically puts them in there and sends it. So it automates things. That's the most important part of this is automating as much as we can. Um, we obviously know, again, it's human interaction that is the end result, but we're automating as much as we can. So the reason why I'm touching on email is because it's slowly going like this. Like I said, Messenger, Facebook, things like that, and everything else is going like this. So. Um, the open rates on emails. A lot of you guys send emails. Most of the time they're not get opened. No one's reading them. No one's doing nothing with them. It's just wasting your time that you're putting into it. When you transition that into Messenger, you're going to have a, an amazing result. So email, the open rate is like anywhere from 17% to 28%. We get anywhere from 80 to 90% yep. open rate in Messenger. It's every time we've split tested this many times. We built different pages. We built a test page in New York and Boston, and every ad campaign we ran with this, we got pretty much like 99% open yeah. rates. Hundreds and hundreds of people within. So days. when you want people to read your stuff, yeah. it's it's good to take them into Messenger. So we're gonna kind of go over Messenger and Messenger chatbots. Um, this was kind of how Evelyn and I met. We met at an event, and. Oh, got it. Okay. I was showing her this on the back. It is a messenger, messenger scan code for Facebook. And Messenger's making some changes actually. Again, Facebook Messenger, they're always updating things, so we have to kind of stay up to date with all that stuff. Um, but what this does is, I put this on there. Oh. I put that on there because if you're out networking with someone, you can ask them, hey, you on Facebook? Awesome. Hey, if you scan this in Messenger, it's going to connect us. What right. it does is start an automatic chat with them. Right. So we have these set up actually for a couple of real estate agents we work with where if people go to their business page and they go to send a message or Messenger, it says, hey, John, thanks for stopping by. Let us know what you're trying to do. You buying, looking to buy or sell? And then they can click buy or sell. And then it asks them, what's your price range? They can click what the price range is. Right goes to the next option. So John and I worked with a lot of real estate agents. We asked them, what are the qualifying questions that you guys ask people? So we put that into an automatic flow. <clears throat> so at some point, and maybe after you guys would be able to kind of go through that. And um, we're also gonna offer you one of those for your business page as well. So a messenger chatbot, it just gives that 24 hour support. Picture it like uh, email on steroids, where it's someone that is gonna chat back with your potential clients. It's someone that's gonna give the information if they ask questions. So it definitely helps automate that stuff. Plus you can collect a lot of information from those people. Uh, when someone starts a conversation with this, you automatically get them as a subscriber. So you can choose to send a broadcast out to all those people at once if you want. If you get a new listing and you want all those people know, you can send it out. You know, so there's lots of cool things that you can do with this. Can we can we have them try it? <coughs> yeah, you, yeah, if, yeah, so. if you have your Facebook Messenger, uh, face, oh, open your Facebook, open oh. Messenger. Yeah, open up Messenger. And then mm -hmm. I'll show you. Okay. And then they can help you. Yeah, once you get to Messenger. Once you, you get have, to Messenger, you just look through your little character on so top you, here. If you have your phone, the little phone. profile picture in the so, top oh, yeah. left. I, I when have Messenger. You'll have your own. Everyone has their own scan code. Yeah, when you click that, messenger too, so I guess and you go to scan code, you can go to messenger. Okay, either way, because it and takes you to you know, just turn it on, yeah. and press allow. You go, you have that just go right to the scan. click that top profile picture, yeah, I've and then tap the scan code. code. Basically, the way of a and then you just tap scan, scan code. code. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and you can yeah. just hold it at a distance. Yeah. So, so when you click get started, no, that guy. That you want it you're going to see a different oh, flow. I'm actually going to be giving you guys so a real estate chatbot flow where it, 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 it what qualifies you these things over here. Uh -huh. um, and it, and it, there won't be much that you have to do. So as you're going to see, if you click get started, it starts the conversation. You can set these up any way that you want. We have some that do quizzes. We have some that qualifies people. We have some that does a giveaway, gift card giveaways. So it's good to be creative when you're, you're trying to generate those leads as well, too. Yeah. So. And the cool thing about this is that people can't give you false information. So you can't get wrong emails, wrong phone numbers, because we set it up in a way where 
as, as long as you created a Facebook profile, whatever information you gave to Facebook, it automatically populates. Oh, no. Yep. So there's like less likelihood you're going to get oh, a fake email or a fake phone number easy. or any of that. So. That's just interesting. So it's nice to just have that automation. And it, it, the more automation that you can do, the more it takes you out of that position that you have to fill for your own business, which frees up time for you to put it into other things. So. <laughs> so again, this is just kind of going over that. Um, there is a spot in there, as you saw, it showed, um, it populated answers for you. It's so you can control the way the conversation. It's already giving the answers they can just choose. You know, it's like, which present do you want? You know, they're already chosen. You just get to pick from them. So um, if you saw on there, there is also a spot where it says real estate uh, chatbot demo. If you want to see how that works, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, that's the exact one that I'm going to be giving to you guys at the end. But I'm going to keep this going here. So. Is this only for our personal page, not for your, it's for your business? It's for your business page. But you could use that scan code anywhere. So you can say, for instance, you download that code. Yeah. You can put that code on your profile picture. You can put it on your yeah. business they, they, page. Yeah. So, don't, don't pay attention too much to the, the scan thing because Facebook's making updates with it. They are taking it. You're going to have to use like a QR reader now. I don't know why. But um, so you can't use any automation. Facebook won't allow you to use it on your personal page. It's only on your business page but this stuff does a lot more I didn't want to get you guys confused this chat bot can be connected to your website or landing page you can put a little chat bubble so when people come to your page your website they scan through they go to leave and they notice there's a little chat bubble they can bring it into messenger right there there's lots of things that you can do with it uh, but again I don't want to go too deep into it so this is just kind of showing uh, the flow that you guys would be going through, that's kind of just showing the whole thing. It looks a little confusing, um, but there is a buyer flow up top and a seller flow down the bottom. So anything you would want to ask a buyer, it's going to ask through that. At the end, it gets name, email, phone number. And then on the bottom, it's the same with the seller, name, email, phone number at the end. And it stores all that information for you. So that way you can go back to check up on that lead. This is inside ManyChat, which is the, the messenger chat that we use. Um, this is where it actually stores that information as well. So whatever Facebook credentials they've signed up with as far as email, that's going to be stored in here. If you ask for phone number, that'll be in there. Whatever profile picture they used on Facebook. So normally if I get a subscriber, whether I'm networking with someone, doing anything, the first thing I do is I'll get their name, paste it into Facebook, and I'll add them as a friend automatically right away. Right. So I can start giving some value and doing what I can to build that rapport with people. So now we're going to kind of pop into what I think is the most important part is actually generating leads. Right. Um, that's, that's what everybody wants. I would assume anybody not want leads. <laughs> right, cool. So, um, you know, again, social media part is important when you're kind of doing certain things, adding in some automation, but the very important part is obviously generating those leads. So we're going to kind of go over the seven, the seven steps that we do every time that we're generating 20 to 30 leads per month for each client or even us. Right. And, uh, you know, obviously it's not in depth of everything, but it's just kind of the brief overview. I totally forgot that was the next slide because I switched it up. I was going to ask you, I'm going to show you how a Facebook ad works, okay? We, we do this subconsciously not even knowing it when we're on Facebook. So when you're scrolling through Facebook and you see an ad, this is exactly how it works. Right. You see the middle, you move down, down, and then your eyes go back up to here. That's how an ad works. So when we're creating an ad, we make sure we use a scroll stopping picture because that's what gets our thumb to stop going like this. And then you want a good headline and then good copy up at the top. So it's, it's kind of hard to see on here, but this is the whole process that we do, how we generate leads. We take all of our traffic on Facebook, the audience we've targeted. We create a Facebook ad. Within Facebook, they allow you to make a landing page. It's almost like a lead form, just like on a website where you have a newsletter where they fill out name, email, phone number, okay? They're doing this because we're giving them either information on a home, a list of homes, or 12 questions to ask an agent, PDF, uh, seven costly mistakes, before that you, from buying a home. Right. 
So these PDFs are eye-catching to people, okay? So we use them to get those leads as well. You have to kind of be creative when you're getting leads. If I have a PDF that's 12 questions to ask a real estate agent before buying a home or working with them, the only one that's gonna download that PDF is someone that is right there at that point getting ready to do that. Right. So again, we're offering a free PDF on our Facebook ad. We bring them to a landing page. We get their name, email, phone number. Once they hit submit, we're gonna bring them to a thank you page to say thank you for downloading our PDF. Here's the download. They click the button, they download it. But here's the best part. In the background, as soon as that person has filled out that form on Facebook, you now have them as a lead. We consider a lead to be name, email, phone number. That's all you need to follow up with someone. We use an app called Lead Owl, best app in the world. It was made by an agency owner who works with local businesses. Right. As soon as someone fills that out, hits submit, it shoots it over to Lead Owl and that shoots it to you on your phone. And if we had gotten a lead right now, it's on mute, right. you would hear ching on my phone. So that's how you know that you have a lead in and to follow up immediately. Now I can choose right from my app, as soon as the lead comes in, to call, email, or text them right from my app. Yep. So without even leaving, if I'm busy, I can hit a quick reply to get back to them. Because again, the most important part of getting to a lead is within 15 minutes. People on nowadays have such a short attention span. They do. And they don't like to read. They don't want to put a lot of energy into something. So if you don't go back to your lead with 15 minutes or less, they start to go cold a little bit. So it's harder to actually transition them into an actual you know, paying customer. So this lead, this app actually, it, 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 what is it, instantly 60, uh, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 24 hours, it actually sends an alert to you. It'll tell you, hey, your lead's getting cold, get back to it now. So it's very convenient because again, I just call or text right from there. I don't have to, have to leave. And it stores all of their information in there. So after they've clicked thank you, it brings them to the next part, which is the download of the PDF. So the whole goal is obviously to work them towards getting to set an appointment with you, scheduling an appointment, calling. It's not so much chasing them the whole time. When we set it up this way, it's continuously having multiple touch points with that lead. It warms them up more and more and more. So the first part of this is John and I go out, whenever we're working with someone, we get customer research. Because again, if you don't know who you're marketing to, you're not marketing to anybody. People do that spray and pray method. Hopefully someone wants my business. But bigger brands and companies know when you fine tune things in and you find who your audience is, you have much better results. So John and I have already done all of that stuff. We already know what uh, the audience in the, in, of the real estate industry want, their pains, their needs, their pleasures. So that's kind of why we've put together these free reports that we use for the agents that we work with. And this is something that you guys can create as well when you're trying to get people interested in what you do because you're giving them value. So. As you can see, these are like really eye-catching headlines. S six steps for selling your home for top dollar. You know, the ones that we use the most are 12 questions you should ask your agent, uh, ask before hiring an agent, and the top 10 first-time home buyer mistakes. Those right there generate hundreds of leads per month. Yep. Because that's what people want. They, they want something that's relevant and congruent to what they're looking for already. So if they're on Facebook searching for a real estate <coughs> agent, and they see that you have something that resonates with them, they're obviously going to become a lead. And that's a pre-qualified lead because not just a regular person that's not interested in a marketplace for a home is going to want to download this. Yeah. Yeah. Even a list of homes. If you guys have a bunch of list of homes that you're working with, if they're all around the same price range, what we try to do is when we work on someone, try to find pick a, pick a price range you want to work in. Is it 200,000? Is it 300,000, 500,000? Whatever that is, say it's 250,000, we put a list of homes under 249,000. We always drop it down a little bit, just like 1995. I mean, $20 isn't that much different, but it looks a lot different. It looks a lot better. Right. So um, when we say we've compiled a list of homes under X amount of dollars, here's your list of homes in your area, people love that. If they're looking for that list and they want it, they're, they're, they're a lead, they're looking to buy or sell. Right. So, again, we use these reports and the cool thing is, is on each report it's customizable. We put the agent's 
cell phone number and information on the back. So each report kind of walks them through. And this is kind of how we do it. Again, we do generate leads and at the first time, first contact point, you do reach out. But a lot of times it's building that relationship. Keep giving that person value. They're going to respect you, see you as a professional, and they're going to want to work with you. So instead of that first contact point, we will send the free list of homes. Then we send the top 10 home buying mistakes. And then the top, uh, I mean, uh, 12 questions to ask an agent. The reason why we do this is because we're pre-framing pre -framing them. We're working them into want to buy or sell their home. You know, we gave them the list of homes in the area. Now we're teaching them about... Um, the, the home buying mistakes. So each time you do that, you're warming them up. They're getting more of your, your brand and giving them more awareness to what you're doing. So walking them so through. So that's happening at the same time that Sorry. you're communicating with them, correct? Because it's going to tell right. me after you, after they download the first PDF, mm -hmm. it's going to tell me to contact them. So then after that, the automation's still giving them value mm -hmm. while I'm still communicating. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because the goal is to obviously get the person to call you, you know, be excited to want to call you. And if you're just trying to sell someone a home you've never met, it doesn't work like that. They're not going to even want to hear what you have to say. If you've given them a bunch of value, made them feel comfortable with that whole process and transaction, they're going to want to work with you. Again, because you are the professional, you're the expert. So it's a little hard to see. We usually have a, 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 a screen, but... This is kind of the second part of the targeting. People don't realize how far you can go into targeting on Facebook. Uh, if you want to target Sue that lives in this area or even this address that's married, that has two kids, I mean, guys, you can get really deep into the targeting. They actually cut back um, what we could do. You could target uh, homeowners that make $250,000 a year. So they actually took that out. You can't uh, target people by income anymore yeah. but a way to get around that because a lot of agents like to work with high-end homes if you know an area or a town or a city that has a wealthy zip code a wealthy address neighborhood you can target that neighborhood you can put that in and show that advertisement just to those people so that's pretty powerful again I can so choose to their Facebook yeah, yeah. Right into yeah. The they'll, they'll see it in their time feed mm -hmm. so it's not like a billboard again 90 people drive by that billboard who knows if someone's interested even if they did call how do you know more than time people but if you're not friends with them yeah yeah, yeah. these are people that, oh, are yeah, that, doesn't, with, that doesn't, doesn't matter. matter no 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 so if i put in milestone as i've been doing it wrong then i've been doing it all wrong <laughs> let, me guess, though, let me guess you were boosting a post no, I never did any. I don't spend oh. a dime. Oh, okay. I just do what I do. Because most people that have done advertising on Facebook, if you have a business page and you made a post, you're going to see a little yeah, blue button that says boost. Okay. Please don't ever do that unless you like wasting money. If you want to throw money out, send it to us. We'll take it. <laughs> you're just throwing money at Mark Zuckerberg at that. You can't target properly with that. Right. It's just more of a brand awareness. If you have money to spend on brand awareness, then go ahead and keep boosting posts. But if you're trying to generate leads and have a great ROI and not spend a lot, then there's certain things that you have to do, and it's through your ads manager. Right. So again, I don't want to get too deep into it, but what you can do with targeting is absolutely crazy. I mean, if you guys get in there and you saw all the different options that you have, and it's very important because now if you're highly targeting your market, Facebook's going to give you a better cost per lead. They're going to show your ads to more people because you're putting it in front of the people who are interested in that. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to shout out other names, but obviously Remax pops up in the ads manager. It's a well-known real estate company. I can put in Remax so anybody who searched Remax is going to see my ad. So any, anything that you put in, if you get creative, if this is a first-time home buyer's um, program that's well known and it shows up you can target all the people who have looked into that yeah. so you know who your market is you know where your money's going and who you're targeting so if you think about if you ever were like shopping for a car and all of a sudden you get you know Facebook ads that talk about cars or yeah. Instagram ads yeah. that talk about cars or 
you know, um, my daughter's Sweet 16. And now it's like I'm getting all these posts about Sweet 16. It's like the, yeah. the party's already it's all set. <laughs> like I'm talking to my phone. The party's already all set. I don't want to see it. But I still keep getting them. That's somebody targeting That's me. Retargeting and retargeting. You search for something. They got like data off of that and then they're putting it back in front of you. So they think it's better because if you're searching for something and you're seeing more of it, it's, at least it's not going to someone who's not searching for it. You know, so, but you can do that with Facebook as well. Uh, you can actually, I choose talking about Instagram. If you guys are on Instagram, you like to stay on there, whatever ad that you're running, you can put it on Instagram too because Facebook bought out Instagram. Right. So you can do that right from, right from Facebook. Yep. And then you know where it came from as well, because it's going to tell you if it came from there. Yep. So here is just an ad that is broken down. And again, we chose a picture. This is the ad copy. Um, that's mostly the text that's in there. We always use a picture that's going to be like a slap you in the face scroll stopper. Because again, if you can't grasp someone's attention when they're scrolling, they're going to keep scrolling and it's just going to get right back into the cat videos and everything else. So you've lost them after that point. So it's good to really get that. So as you can see, and again, I hate this so small, but yeah. the picture is what stops it. And then you have the bold headline. So your eyes always go to the picture, to the bold headline, down to the button, up at the top. You have to catch their attention within the first couple lines. And that's those reports that we have. We actually have not just those reports, but we also have custom templates that are already done. So it's just like a copy and kind of paste. So this is the ad breakdown. Again, the number one part is the scroll stopper. That's what gets people to stop. When we're advertising for real estate, we found that it's a majority more of women who are wanting the information about the home, about the PDFs or anything. So sometimes we tend to use a picture of a kitchen because everybody loves a kitchen. It's where food's made, a lot of people spend time in there. So that definitely gets them to stop scrolling really quick. Uh, we have a clear call to action, what you want them to do. Because unless you tell people what you want them to do nowadays, they, do they, they tend not to do it. And uh, as you can see, that little finger down there that's pointing over, we've said this before, we've tested it with the finger and without, and we've gotten way more leads with the one with the finger pointing, telling them what to do. I don't know why, but it, it's just, uh, it, it's crazy. <laughs> so uh, up at the top, you want to call it the location. So if we're working in Boston, I'll call out, hey, Boston, hey, Quincy. I always call out the area. When you do that, it gets people to resonate with the ad more. It gets them to want to read, well, I better pay attention to this. This has to do with my area and me. <clears throat> the next thing is the attention-grabbing headline. So this is where we're offering that PDF for them as a download. And then we just tell a little bit about it. So. There's certain ways that this is broken down and a certain strategy that you use to get people to actually click through and become a lead. So within Facebook, you can actually create what's called a landing page. I don't know if you guys know what a landing page is. Uh, it's also known as kind of like a sales funnel in a way. Right. So our advertisement is going to be the same as the landing page. We want to keep things congruent. So if we're offering a PDF here with this certain picture, that's what we're going to have on the next page. This page is made to get that person's name, email, phone number, to turn them into a lead. So once you have done that, again, it's going to take them to the thank you page. This is where you want to give your offer. Uh, when we're working with people, if you're just trying to kind of build that rapport and you're giving them a PDF, then that's fine. Let them know in this, on this thank you page, hey, we have another one that's coming up to get them interested in knowing that you're going to be reaching out to them again or they're going to be seeing your stuff again. But if you do plan on reaching out to them, to contact them, you're going to want to say that in here. Hey, an agent will be reaching out to you. Expect to see this number. Yeah. Because, guys, when we're home during the day and we get a random phone call, we all think it's a telemarketer or someone to sell us something. That's the same when we call leads back. That's what they're expecting. And it's going to be someone trying to sell them something. So, right. you know, trying to be different is where it's going to get you a lot further. And that's why we give those PDFs. So here's this app that I was talking about. It's called Lead Owl. Again, it sends you a notification instantly, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 24 hours to let you know that you have a lead. You can call, email, or text that person right through the app. 
you can even set up a custom kind of message to send back to them as well. So again, it's really small, but these are just some results um, from some clients where it says 20 leads, 30 leads. Uh, we have ones where it's 50, 60 leads, but we tend to, you know, keep it around it's 20 to 30 leads, you know, but when you do all of these steps right, which it's not, not, it's not very hard. It's just knowing what to do. That's all it is. And that's exactly why we kind of put something together for real estate agents only um, to know how to do all this stuff is because, you know, you guys usually go to, you know, what Zillow, MLS, all these different real estate places to and sites to buy leads or get leads it goes from anywhere from 50 to 220. Yeah. And then you're not even getting exclusive leads. It's someone's already contacted it before you got to them. So when you're doing this stuff, you're getting those exclusive leads. No one else is getting them but you. So on the last part of this, what we usually like to do is send them either an email follow up or a messenger follow up. And we usually send out four emails or messenger follow-ups. It just gives an intro about the person, a little bit of story, a little bit of value, and then try to get them and entice them to set an appointment. So it's it's almost like a done for you automated thing that you're trying to complete here because once you do that, it gives you so much more time for your other stuff. So the seven seven steps were uh, customer research your audience targeting, your Facebook ad, landing page, thank you page, text notifications, and email and messenger follow-up. Now, um, before we go, we have some helpful apps and software. Uh, Calendly was that app that I told you about where you can kind of connect it to anything, have people go and schedule an appointment. You can kind of pre-qualify them, put in any questions that you want to ask them before they actually set an appointment with you. Uh, Canva is a really cool program, very user-friendly. If you're trying to create photos, edit photos, whether it's for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is, they actually have the actual picture and pixel sizes that you're supposed to be using. If you have the wrong pixel size, your photo is always going to show up wrong and it doesn't look good or professional. So when you go to Canva and you just say, I want a Facebook cover photo, meaning that big back one, you click it, it's going to give you the right pixel sizes. You can drag and drop photos, add different things, use templates. So it's, it's a very cool little free uh, software to use. Pixabay is, uh, if you guys need photos, if you don't have any photos to use of a house or whatever it is, you can go there. They're royalty-free, copyright. You don't have to worry about them. Uh, they're all free, and they're in 4K, so they're very clear photos to use, you know, whether it's, you know, for your post or your business page or advertisements. <clears throat> Lead Owl is that app that we told you about. ManyChat is that automation that we have connected to everything. And uh, BuzzSumo is just a place where you can go to get content ideas. If you don't know what to post, you can always go there. It tells you things that are relevant, things that are going on. I know we can make a on. copy of this, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll send you the link to the whole thing. <laughs> it's hard to resist. Yeah. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> so, again, we have a little special gift. Uh, we're going to be giving everybody one of those automated chatbots. It is a real estate chatbot. Um, you know, we value it at $497 though I don't know why it says three. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we, we did put a lot of time into this. It took us about a month or so to build this out. We talked to over, I would say, eight real estate agents to kind of find out what are the questions, the key questions. Once we've seen the similarities and all, all of them, we pick those out and put them into here. So, again, if you guys do want that, I would suggest getting it. Um, we did it with another class where we walked everybody through it how to set it up so I'm not just like, hey, here's this thing you know nothing about and you set it up yourself. You know, we walk you through the whole thing. So it automates your business page. And then, you know, you can also see some of the other stuff that it does. So um, this Saturday, we'll kind of go through that if you guys want. We did have, again, this didn't update. No, no, no. We all did right year, before right? we got here too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I didn't save it. It's okay. uh, so this is the last date. So uh, this Saturday, we will do that. So. The time was, I think, 2 o'clock last time, and that didn't work out too great. No, but if you, so, if you guys want to, because right now you're the only ones that they've offered this to for this Saturday coming up. It's a webinar, right? right? Yeah. And what he'll do is he'll take you through, you'll be on your computer, and he'll take you through how, how to how to set, set the chat box up everything. with Facebook. Yeah, to your business page. Yeah. To your business page, and it does have that real estate questions already. Yeah, yeah, all that's yeah, that's all set. Yeah. If you guys can like record it and then like send it to us, 
We're going to do that too. Um, but the reason why I'm offering live is because I always like that because if I have a question, I want to be able to ask right there. I hate it when I'm watching a video. And when we're creating something, we like to try to cover everything. Our goal is so when someone's done watching it, they don't have questions at the end. But if there is, it's a lot easier on a live because then you can ask that. I can walk you through. So if you can't make it to live, that's fine. We will record it and uh, you know I can send that to you. The only way that I can get in touch with you guys is if you did end up scanning that or you end up you know, adding me on Facebook as a friend or something like that uh, because I can't physically, that's one thing about many chats, you can't just get emails and people's names and pop them into many chat and start sending them stuff a messenger, they won't allow that. Someone has to physically opt in to that by a link, by the scan code, or if you just go to authority advertising, our um, you know, messenger on Facebook, you can do that. We even have it. Was it free chats? Yeah. If you chat, typed in free yeah. chats, we put a keyword in. So if you type in free chats with a Z, with an S, it doesn't matter. Put in all different keywords. It, it starts a conversation and, and gives that information to you too. So. So what time is this one going to be? Well, the, the reason why I didn't put it in here because I was going to ask you guys. We're flexible. Saturday, I usually don't do any business, but this is you know kind of trying to give some value so I'm fine with we did that too and some people said it was kind of in the middle of the day and I did that because I figured in the morning on Saturday some people want to sleep you know Saturday night they might be going off for dinner so you know we're, we're fine with uh, with figuring something out do you all, I mean, how many of you think you're interested in doing it and if you're not don't worry about it it's not, it's yeah, not a big so. deal you know but yeah. if you are you know we'll hop on I we'll, think Saturdays are tough for us because we're always out mm -hmm. on the weekend mm -hmm. right yeah. right so how about it? Is it is a night one okay? Can you what do a night one? What about during the week? At night. Yeah. That's yeah. At like night. Seven or eight. Uh, you know. No, during the week. like when the kids are not home, like eleven a.m. <laughs> 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 it's mommy, 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 mommy. No, at night. Yeah. It's not well, good. that's why I said seven or eight. My kids are starting to watch TV and in their rooms at that time. So. Yeah. Yeah. so what do you? What do you? It's, it's whatever. If you do during the week, mid morning. Mid morning, right? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I feel like I be up to that too. Okay, see, the, I'd rather get the data back from you yeah. guys because I know it'll help for the next one to know what yeah. time is going to work. So what, is, what do you think, like 11 o'clock? Yeah, I think mean, good. Tuesday, yeah, okay. Tuesday's on, at 11. Tuesday's like, at 11, just session. like... <laughs> John, yeah, I was going to ask you to put that into the calendar. Awesome, Tuesday at 11, So we'll you guys that. are you talking about this coming Tuesday? A week from today? Yeah, yeah. The 21st. You guys will send that information. Yeah, as, as long as they had opted in, yep. I'll be able to send them that. And the people yep. who are watching live, how can they opt in? They can go to your Facebook? Uh, yeah, they can go to our Facebook Authority Advertising, and you guys can actually put free chats within the messenger. And I'll also hold this up here, because you might be able to scan this. Yeah, no, I know. I'm like, I need to go. I'm ready 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 to go. i am ready to go 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 i am ready to Instagram, right? Yeah, because I thought it would attract a little bit of a right. younger audience. Yeah. So I mean, but as far as advertising, this is leaps and bounds over any other. Yeah. Hey, every platform works. Like we built a big brand. Uh, we we used to have a company called Digital Authority oh, yeah. Figures, and we built a pretty big brand and a pretty big following on that on Instagram. But what we found is that that younger generation didn't have the money to do business with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we translated that to LinkedIn. We started messing around with LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a lot of people pitching their business. Because mm. Facebook, we got better results. Well, Facebook, yeah. people probably looking, probably spend more time on it. LinkedIn is more, like you say, it's a little more stuffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, the, the people on LinkedIn don't need as much because they have people who do that for them. Right, for the most part, yeah. Yes. Like, they'll, they'll, they'll have the secretary right. do it. Yeah, like, we'll yeah. share our content to LinkedIn. Like I'll take some of our stuff and put it on our LinkedIn and we'll get some feedback from it. But I would say 95% of the leads we're getting are from our profiles and from all the value we've been putting out for all those years. Mm -hmm. yeah. so That's great. That's great. Thank your, you. Um, your class that you're putting on for realtors that it would cost, um, but it's a walkthrough of, of doing this whole thing on your own or something like that? Oh, yeah. So we wanted to, we don't mind doing these types of one hour things. 
it's nice to give you kind of an overview, but we're results driven. We want to see results. We like to show someone, hey, do this, and this is going to happen, and they do it, and that happens. So that's why we like doing like actual live classes or trainings. People come in, they bring the laptop. You're going to come in not knowing how to do this, and then when you're done, you're going to know how to good majority of how to do it, but also be getting a result from it. You know, so we've been talking with Evelyn and stuff, and uh, it'd be great to kind of start doing some trainings i don't know how long it would take we'd have to kind of figure out how we could squeeze that in uh to maybe a six hour day or whatever it is and um you know come in and show you guys how to pretty much launch your own ad and start generating your leads like by the time you're for those you're of you who are techie on. for those of you who are not you can hire them <laughs> and they'll do it for you we, we also but have for a those course of you, right yeah, for those of just, you who are more techie and yeah. want to learn how to do it and do it on your own they're they're going to put on a course yeah yeah, because as John said when we first came in, it goes both ways. There's people who don't want to do it at all, they figure everything out. There's people who want a done-for-you system, and there's people who want to do it themselves and learn it. So that's why, you know, we offer our services to do this. We offer free trainings, but then we also have trainings we're going to do with her, and we also just finished a course a week ago. It's called Facebook Ads for Real Estate Professionals. So um, what we did was try to simplify everything. Everybody's busy. So we have custom templates. Um, we have free reports that we're giving. So it's almost like a copy and paste course. You right. don't have to try to think of what to do. We didn't go over every single button that's in there. We right. went over the steps that you need to take in order to generate yep. this many leads per month. So it's, to us, it's almost like driving a car. Yeah, you need to know everything about driving a car, but really you need brake, gas, steering. That's all. Well, so it's, yeah. You just need a horn if you're from New York. That's it. I was going to say, they don't use those in New York. Oh, my no, God. No, no. I went up that, was a couple weeks ago to uh, yeah, yeah. have a meeting with him, and someone was at a light, and literally it just went green. And as soon as it went green, that person was already on the horn. It's like, this person didn't even have enough time to go from the brake to the gas. I'm like, geez, people. So that course that you've already have or yeah. is that a webinar course it, it's a, it's basically it's a series of videos that we constructed over a few months and what we did was we put every single video that you just watch it you can speed it up you can slow it down you can pause it you can download templates you can basically go to the whole course and it's all online the videos and it's all online yeah it's it's yeah. kind so of it's available when, now oh yeah it's available uh -huh. now. yeah yeah we actually have a couple real estate agents going through it we have two people who want an agency going through it because they work with all real estate agents right We've been working with them longer, so they're like, listen, you guys, you know, generate a lot of leads, you know how to work with them, uh, do you have anything? I said, I have a course that's for real estate agents, but technically you could go through it and just right. do the same stuff for the people you're working with, so. How much is that? Um, One million dollars. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys look at online courses, a lot of people are anywhere from 500 to 2,000 dollars. So we want it to be way higher than that. No, um, we want it to make it cost efficient for anybody. Yeah. So we were doing it at 297. Um, and again, it has all of those templates. We, we also gave away a free chat bot with that. Um, but the time actually ran out the other day. So it's kind of just going to you guys for today. Um, but we have a group that everybody can be a part of. We offer 24 hour support. Any questions that you have, we'll walk through. And um, you know, just, since we're here, Eva, we, we love Evelyn. She's awesome. She's bringing us around a lot, helping us get give our value out. So if anybody here, and again, we weren't, we've already talked, we weren't here to talk about the course and to pitch a course. That's why That's, I'm bringing it up. <laughs> she brought it up and uh, someone asked about price. So we'd be willing to do 97 for anybody who's at this training. Um, but other than that, we do have it on our, our site for 297. So if that does interest you, let us know. Um, it would definitely be well worth it. Uh, it's it's value packed. You know, we make sure we always over deliver because we we want that long term relationship. We want that good referral. You know, that's what means the most to us. So and I think that's that's an awesome price. I do it all day long. As like matter of fact, I probably will just to learn. But anyway, I would rather you not take the class if you're not going to implement it. Like, don't take a class and pay a hundred bucks and then right. learn it one day and then not do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just. Don't, this don't is bomb, if you're at a point where you want But if you, you really it. say, okay, I'm ready to take my business to another level, and this right. is this is going to help me, and it's the cheapest way. I mean, yeah. it's cheaper than buying leads. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, th then then I'd say do that. Because right. I hate to see you spend money. I'm not here to tell you to spend money. I'm telling you, look, this is 
and I, as you know, I have a small circle. I don't let right. everybody mm -hmm. in, everybody in my circle, and and so I don't just. Um, there's a lot of a lot of companies that come to me that want to come to my classes, but I, I haven't had anybody except for them because I know what they, they brought value today. They brought something for you for free and then they want to do that. And so I just, I think it's a great way. And nobody told, nobody told us like this, if I had known that I would probably not be in <laughs> where I am right now. Sure. Right. And you could be 10 times ahead mm -hmm. if you knew that when you first started into real estate. We know a lot of people in the agencies and they don't like showing people this stuff. They keep it secret because yeah. If you know how to do it, right. you won't need to pay them monthly. Mm -hmm. right. We're not like that. If, they, if someone needs our service, yeah. then come to us. Right. We're not gonna we're not gonna hassle you. We're not gonna you know pitch you. You want our service, and that's fine. But that's why we created this. We know we can charge a thousand dollars all day for that course and everything we've put in it. Right. You know how how simplified we made it. How much time and, and that has gone into yeah. split testing things to find out what actually works. Yeah. We're not giving someone. Here's a course, this might work for you, you might generate leads. We made sure everything that was put in there was yeah. so you get an actual result. Yeah. And you know, if you get into it and you start putting money into Facebook ads, you can get it down to where your your leads are under a dollar. Yeah, you know, so um, and again, it's going through those those leads. You, you, I'm sure you know it's a numbers game. It's about how many people you can talk to and how many leads you can go through. So, so on Tuesdays, the free webinar yep. right, for the chat that box. teach you how to do the chat box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then after that, he'll send you the, the, right. the option of doing the, the other thing. That sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Do we keep these fancy cards, or do you want the back? No, that's good. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have everything I need on my phone. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> I just want to do one nice. thing. I forgot to take a selfie. Oh, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's the selfie stick? It's on. It's on. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That wasn't my colonial smell.